In just a few hours, a North Texas woman will receive a major honor. Major is the key word. A new portrait of Miss Opal Lee, the grandmother of Juneteenth, will be unveiled at the state capitol. State Senator Royce West joins us now. And, and Senator West, I got to ask you, we all know what Miss Opal Lee represents, but what does this portrait, when you put it in perspective in the history, what does that represent? Great question, Keith. Uh, the reality is, is that when you look at the portraits that are being displayed in the Senate chamber, you see one African American, that's Barbara Jordan, and that's in the history of the state of Texas. And so this particular honor that's being bestowed on Opal Lee at the suggestion of the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Texas, uh, Dan Patrick, is truly historical. We will be uh, we will be unveiling her portrait today, and it will be on display for all eternity for people to see throughout history. The mother, the grandmother of June T's portrait would be in the Senate chamber, along with other pictures of Texans and specifically that of Barbara Jordan. You know, Senator West, I've had the pleasure of speaking with Miss Opal Lee several times, just knowing her history in this community. Uh, you know, a household name in Fort Worth for sure. Right. And she is just so incredibly passionate, and she's been putting so much work in for her entire life. Talk about just how much this means, not just for her, but for everyone who lives here, and why everyone should be just so proud of this. Well, I think we should be proud of it because the fact is, when you think about the if you see people that look like you, you're more apt to kind of pay attention to them. And hey, maybe we'll end up wanting to be like them. I have been knowing Opal Lee for uh, probably 25, 30 years when she would come down to Austin. She would make certain that I was there and knew exactly what she wanted to do. That is make Juneteenth a national holiday. And so she has been at the, the demonstration of someone that puts the work in, is very persistent, and needless to say, worked, worked, worked in order to get this done. And she got it done at a national level that benefits all Americans. And now we celebrate her. Not only had she been celebrated in Fort Worth, she's now being celebrated by her state. Uh, Senator West, we celebrate all the wonderful achievements in black history. Miss Opal Lee, obviously, at the top of the list. We also want to thank you. I covered the uh, Conrad internship program. You pioneered that program where it pairs minorities with major companies to give them real life work experience as they set sail on future careers. So we salute you during this Black History Month as well. But let me just say this, Keith, in closing, uh, this is not the last. Uh, we have never had a building named after an African-American here in the state of Texas, believe it or not. Well, that's about to change. On February the 25th, we will be uh, opening up the Barbara Jordan building here in the state of Texas, and that will be the first building ever named after an African-American. That's pretty good stuff for history, Black History Month. Wow. It's incredible when you think about that and you think about, in the historical perspective, the first building ever. Senator West, thank you for all you do, and thank you for sharing that breaking news with us right here on yeah. CBS 11. Have a great okay. morning.